Sefer waarvan hij gepraat heeft natuurlijk niet van Graham Duxbury. En Graham Duxbury op die eerste wegsprintpositie met zijn Sassel voor Sefer. Iemerik 28,84 seconden, 2 seconden vinniger als Willy Hebben. En daar die uh, Seibert ook wel record met die groot V8. Uh, Engen Tony Viana in die BMW M35 in die derde wegsprintpositie. En langzaam is het Ivar Raas in die Mazda RX-7, die eerste van die motors in die klas, in klas B. Johan Koetsie, die nieuwe Westbank gemotificeerde sedan motorkampioen. En die verskoning in die vijfde wegspringpositie in sy um, Skyline, sy uh, Gearmax Skyline. En dan zesde is het Dick Sorensen in een soortgelijke motor, ook in Nissan Skyline. Al twee van hulle natuurlijk motors in klas B. Hier is die groot kanonne van Suid-Afrikaanse motorsport, die groot Indians. En hulle het reeds groot opwinning gelever op Suid-Afrikaanse renbane door Stuart die land. Hulle is weg op hulle opwarmingsrond die voorboogmotor wat gaan hulle om die baan gaan lei. En uh, als hulle weer in weer voorbij kom, dan gaan ons zien hoe hulle die volgende tien rondes gaan afval. Ons sien nie die ander gereelde deelnemers hier vandag nie. Sarel van de Merwese Audi Quattro Turbo is ongelukkig niet daar nie. Maar hier kan ons verwachten dat tussen Duxbury, Hebben en Viana daar werkelijk letterlijk en figuurlijk vandag die vonken gaan spak. Uiteraars van uh, King Williamstown, dat nog altijd baie goeie rekenskap van homself gekeerd is. Ook daar, dat is Deemutter. Dan zien we Ben Morgenrood in die andere klas aanbod, die Mazda 323 met zijn wilde rotor Indian. Wat hij uh, zelf ontwikkelde hier in zijn randfontein bij zijn werkswinkel. Hij is ook daar en uh, Ben heeft al reeds natuurlijk ook baanrecords opgesteld op al die renbanen in Zuid-Afrika. Ben is ook een man wat baie makkelijk hier die kan doen. Als het reen, dan kan ik je beloven, gaan daar letterlijk vonken spat en uh, gaan hier een paar interessante wedren voorleggen. Maar hier die Ford Sapphire van uh, Graham Duxbury, werkelijk ongelooflijk vinnig. En indien hij die motor op die einde, tot in die einde van hierdie wedren kan brengen, dan kan hij waarschijnlijk verzeker wees van een oorwinning. Maar in hierdie wedren kan enig iets gebeuren natuurlijk. En uh, enig iets gebeur gewoonlijk ook in hierdie wedren. Nie waar nie, Roger? Well, certainly that's what is going to be. The heat certainly going to be on in this one. Willie Hepburn going to hound him, uh, hound Graham Duxbury. The little problem with the gearbox of the Cecil, uh, the Cecil uh, Ford Sapphire that gave trouble the last time, of course, has been fixed. It was a linkage problem on the outside. Willie Hepburn's taking up his rightful position alongside him. So you've got a big V8 of 5.7 litre that uh, say about Caltech's V8 record. You've got that 2 litre turbocharged Ford Sapphire coming down towards us. And there's a surprise entry for today's racing all the way from King Williamstown. Ivor Ross has come up much to the disappointment of the West Bank champion this year. That's Jan Kutsi. was hoping to have a trouble-free run without Ivor Ross to worry. He's in that Mazda RX-7. You can see the heart of the one. And alongside Jan Kutsi is uh, Dick Sorensen. And a little further back in class, he's the 1300 cars. You can just see the black one coming around now. That's Hedy van der Linde's little boy, Sean, who's done so well. Two lap records, two wins in two races. And here they come. And the man who's got the jump on everybody has got to be Duxbury. He's got to be ahead as they cross the line. Nobody's allowed to be in front of him. So he dictates the speed that he wants to come across the line. As they move up to the line, it's still Duxbury by car length. It's Willie Hepburn and a big truck of Tony Viana. That motor car, that Winfield BMW, sounding magnificent. And right on the beam here now, he's never been down to the one minute 30 mark. He's on it right now. And uh, Tony Viana, don't discount him. Rosh is in there. There's Willie Hepburn going for the front now. He's got him in the inside. We've got a new leader. Pole position man has gone back to second position. He's using all that big power. There's Kevin Greaves on the left-hand side. That's save at Porsche. There's Gary Dunkley. And it's Larry Wolf with lovely shots there. They go through the top of Odessa. Start climbing the hill. And there's the Winfield BMW in second position. The Ford's gone back to third. And Ben Morgan Root's moving up in that little state-of-the-art Mazda 323. He's going to be off to America shortly to look for a three a rotor, a triple rotor motor, as they call it. Come around West Bank for the first time. Dick Sorensen's keeping the pressure on in, in Class B. That's for cars up to 3,600 cc. And Willie Hepburn goes down that uh, hill like we've never seen him. Like an absolute bomb as he comes down there. It's Tony Vion in that low, sleek Winfield BMW. It's never sounded better. It's a straight six, 24-valve six-cylinder. And uh, what a job that team has done on that motor car. Graham Duxby's now in third position. They're all very much together. Hepburn's got the lead at the moment. The BMW goes through on the inside. No. He takes back second position, does uh, the uh, does Graham Duxbury in that Sassel Ford. The BMW stays right in there with him. Then it's Ben Morgan who's keeping the heat up there as they finish one lap. And that big roar from that V8 as he comes through. Oh, it's just the ground thunders under your feet as he comes through. And they're always up and jumping when they see these V8s in action. 
no doubt about it, excites South African crowd, and Duxbury starts putting the pressure on. Very quick, the handling's very good. The, the Bernie Mariner team, unfortunately, is going to be leaving them now. Has done a tremendous amount of work on this motor car. It's really state of the art. Only the shell on the outside is uh, sapphire. The rest, the chassis is a beautiful aluminium construction. The suspension, uh, and Ashley's had some uh, doings on the suspension. As Duxbury goes up, and he's stuck right under, under Willie Hepburn, standing looking for a place to pass him on the outside. And Gannet maakt nie, Willie Hepburn, wat nog steeds die winnings verleen het, daar dier Westbank draai, met uh, Graham Duxbury, wat baie kort op saak is daar, en, en Tony Viana is ook daar, Ben Mochman, roodse bykie teruggesak, maar hierdie drie manne is bezig, om nou werkelijk hier die pad baie, baie warm aan te maak. Dier die ICI draai in die Continental, en die vonke spat, letterlijk en kogielik, en kan sien die vlamme spat uit aan die buitenkant van die, uh, dier die uitlaat, stel ons dat van die motor, soos wat die uh, ratte verwissel word, dit is die kenmerk van die Turbo AG8 motor, Hij verraast wat ik om ik voorloop in klas B. Hij is vijfde uh, al geheel. De eerste vier motors allemaal klas A motors. Dat is een motor met engine stort in met 5,7 liter. Groter als 3,5 liter. En uh, hier is het die oorlog tussen Hebben, Duxbury en Viana. En Viana wat hij groot motor van ons om het dwars hier daar in draag bij. En uh, die schade is absoluut. Op hulle voete en wat gaan gebeur, het is, lyk my so'n bykie gestamp as toe, draai daar deur kans draai. Hier kan nog enige iets gebeur, hier is geen sinds een makkelijke voorspelling om te sê wie gaan hierdie wedder en wedder. Betrouwbaarheid was nog altijd een probleem vir hierdie motors, wat absoluut op die grens van die technologische ontwikkeling is. En Tony Viana is by, Tony is daar so en hy gaan binnenkort probeer om daar die tweede plek van Graham Duxbury af te neem, dier die eerste en die tweede van die Top Sport S'e. En Duxbury voel al klaar, baie beter as die vorige wedderen, en die vorige wedderen het sy motor sy radkas nie gehou, eerst tot in hierdie stadium nie. En as hy dit kan hou, dan gaan hy hier vandag werkelijk vir sensatie sorg, soos ek gesê het in die begin van die wedderen, dit maak nie saak wat nie verlede gebeur het nie, hy wil net hierdie wedderen weng vandag, en daar het ons die posiesie na die eerste twee rondes. Eerste in klas B is het oude raas, hy is het in die feite al geheel gevolg in Juan Kutsee, wat al reeds die kampioenskap achter sy naam gekroon gaan hee. Op die oomlik in die 7e plek, Dick Sorensen in sy Skyline en achter is Gary Dunkerley in sy Porsche. Allemaal van hulle van die Cybert span. Nou die aandag dus slis gevestig hier op die drie groot kanonne van sy Afrikaanse motorsport in klas A vir Westbank gemodificeer is sy dan motor Willy Hebben. Klein Willy Hebben met daar die ijslikke motor en Daxbury probeer nie binnenkant. Gaan hy het maak? Ja! Daxbury is dier in die binnenkant van NPN, maar Hebben gaan nie opgeen nie. Hebben in die binnenste lijn vir National Panasonic. Wat gaan gebeur? Hebben gaan hom in die binnenkant neem, maar Daxbury probeer in die buitenkant neem. En dit is, oh, voor die kuipe is hier groot chaos. Ongelukkig vir hom, hy het baie hard probeer, maar die motor sy engine in gang gehou. Hy staan in die buitenkant, maar hy is weg. Hy het baie, baie hard geprobeer. De Graham Duxbury, hy is nou af na die vijfde plek. Recht voor die kuipe het gebeur, die aerodynamica van daar die motor gaan beinvloed word, omdat daar die voorste luchtskort nou beskadig is. Willie Hebben, Tony Viana trek weg. Maar, eh, Graham Duxbury gaan beslis nie opgeen nie. Duxbury wat op die oomlik in die feite plek is en is net kort achter Ben Bok. Kom ons kyk hier wat het gebeur is. Die binnenkant van daar die draai, dit is National Panasonic aan die begin van die hoofdpouwvak. Hy sit om helemaal aan die buitenkant van die draai, die gladde motor van blande wande van hom kan nie die vastklauw kry daar aan die buitenkant van die draai nie en ongelukkig een probleem daar vir Duxbury. Henrik, I think Graham Duxbury is so glad when that car got mobile again that he's still in the race because he, more than anything else, he wants to win this race not only for himself, but for the four team. George Bezade note, out in the little BP Nissan Centre. It's a very pretty little motor car that has won the championship in the 1600cc class this year. But it's a straight fight now with Willie Hepburn and with Tony Vion. It's the big 5.7 litre Opel carrying a lot of weight. It's the Winfield BMW, and they are going to have a straight fight to the end of the race. But Duxby could be back in the picture. Luckily, it's happened early in the race. They've just done the three laps of seven to go, and Graham Duxby's going to pull out all stops. Ben Morgan, who's coming down the, the road in third position, he comes on strong, very strong as the race gets on. He always sits back and watches the action and then starts to play his cards right as he gets near the end of the race. It's Willie Hepp in the big V8 and it just leaves black lines on the road, but Viana's coming past him. Viana got the better grip on the road, but there's the drag race. Here comes Morgan Roo. And the next one, the Ford is coming. The Ford is coming. This is going to be one of his great drives. Graham Duxbury is pulling out of so he's got that turbo. The problem with the turbo is that when you really turn it up, the heat goes up, the heat gauges go up in the engine. It's heavy on the gearbox, it's heavy on the differential, but he's not worrying about it. Four laps are gone in this race, and it's neck and neck. That save at Opel is neck and neck with that Whitfield BMW. Those two red-white cars are going for each other. 
This is terminal stuff. It's the end of the season. This is the fling of all flings here. They've got nothing to lose in this one. Sol van Emeva won the A class in the Audi. B went to Young Kutsi and the overall West Bank Championship. Great driving by our most competitive racing drivers. They come up on the slow runners. Here they come up on the slow cars. They move over. These sundering drives come past them. Down the one mine shaft that takes a man with a big heart to be able to put it down this hill. As you can see now, you can see what the extent of this hill is like. It's so steep. When you're coming down, it, the temptation is to lift or go down to a lower gear. But this they're not doing. As the Winfield BMW is putting the pressure on that Sabre at Caltex Opal in a big way. As they come down the Alva Hill. Here's a slow man coming down here. As they come down, it looks like it's Mike Summer. He's going to be fast. And here comes the Ford. The Ford has got Mike Morgan route. This is going to be Duxby's greatest drive. He's turning up all the taps on this car. Never mind the heat, what the gearbox has to stand, what the diff has to stand. Duxby's mobile. We'll see him in picture. And watch this for drag race. Brianna says it's time to come past. And Hepburn says, no, it's not. Three car lengths, four car lengths, five car lengths as they come up the slow track. Here comes the Ford. Here comes the Ford. He's pulling out all stops. Is it going to be able to last with this sort of horsepower? Pushing out nearly 600 horsepower. Graham Duxby is driving the race of his life. To catch up to the as the aerodynamics are gone in the front, the aerodynamics are gone around the back wheel. It's not worrying him. Morgan Root staying in there in the order fit master. What a great performance. As I say, going over to America shortly. And Duxbury is going to be amongst those front runners. We've just passed the halfway mark. We've got four and a half laps to go. And here can we see what's going to happen when Duxbury decides that he now has more to do than what he has done. It's still a great race. Look how nice Duxbury is now on Viana and Hebben. En die motorse banden laat sokke zwart strepe as hulle daar dier die draai kom. Daksperi wat beslis hier al moedelike trucks probeer en die finish daar rond en reeds achter sy naam 1 minuut 29 sekondes. En ek sê vir die vir 3,8 kilometer op hierdie baan is 1 minuut 29 besonder vinnig. En hy is bezig om al na hande te kom met Danny Viana. Viana werk baie hard achter die stier soos jy kan sien en elke keer wat hulle dier die draai kom en leer die zwarte rubber strepe soos wat daar die groot breed gladde achterbande daar die kracht op die pad neer sit. En Daksperi is by. Die wolk is bezig om saam te pak, gaan ons reeds sien in die wedder en dit kan dees. En dit kan die toetneel natuurlijk heel te mal verander. Graham Duxbury kom nader aan Tony Viana. Willie Hepburn het een gaven opgetrek. Ek dink Viana het een probleem. Ek dink Viana het ook een probleem ons om het sien om wat meer die wedder en al Duxbury is beslis. Deze kom nader kom Viana en daar is nie so groot gaven meer tussen hulle, tussen hom en Willie Hepburn nie. Maar die kracht van daar die Opel V8 liter engine is net iets ongelooflijks hier in die hoofdbouw vak af. Die snarige motors kan ook natuurlijk invloed uitoefen. Gelukkig weet hulle dat die voorlopers bezig is om voorbij te kom in geel op pad, want ek dink dat dit absoluut vrees aan jaant as jy terug in jou triespeekje kyk en hier die gedrie groot motors kom van achteraf op jou afgestorm, dan dink ek gee jy maar so ver as moeilijk pad, want daar is geen genade nie. As jy in die pad is, dan dink ek gaan hulle vir jou in die slag laat blij. Steeds hebben in Diana Daxbury. Morgen, morgen moet het nog steeds in die vierde plek. Aga Raas, eerste in pas B, hy is in vijfde plek. Johan Kutsee is in die zesde plek. Die Xorons in die zevende en Gary Dankere is in die achtste plek. Diana probeer nie van die kant. Westbank draai. En Daxbury is bezig, dink ek, net om sy kans af te wacht. Want as hierdie twee man is so hard jaag, en die na zes rond is dit die precies, as hierdie man is so hard jaag, dan kan enig iets nog gebeur. Daxbury kan hierdie wedren nog wen. Daxbury kan hierdie wedren nog wen. Die eerste keer en van het die motor ontwikkel is in die seizoen, kan hy hierdie wedder kyk hoe dwars het, heb hy daar die motor die starige motor kies, is beslis bezig hier om een factor te word en dit kan op die oude nog die uitslag van hierdie wedder in bepaal sien die klas 1 motor kies wat daar achterkant kan doen, en Daxbury doen het in die binnenkant van NTN, ja en Diana is een motor, is op die buitenkant van die draai, die stof die staan soos jy kan sien, hy moes net nie voor een pad gee daar, Daxbury is een man wat gehoord is en kyk nie toe hard probeer Danny Viana en hy van dwars hy by hier om uitsteek het is ongelooflik dit is een man met een groot hart daar en wat weet om een motor te hanteer en Danny Viana hou sy motor onder beer hy is nog steeds in die wedren Daxbury is natuurlijk een man wat reeds sportwedrenne gejaag het sportmotorwedrenne gejaag het hy tou nog 24 uur gewend saam met Sarel van der Merwe dit is soos hy daar posies in geneem het dit is soos wat hy by Danny Viana voorbij gekom het ek weet nie of hulle mekaar geraak het het lyk so dat as een stuk van die bakwerk wat spat het het mekaar geraak En Diana het een skitterende manier vir die vervoer om daar die motor vir hom onder beheer te hou. Well, I tell you that he's got tunnel vision to win. He's got so much resting on his shoulders, all the work that Bernie Marin and the team have put into preparing that motor car and testing and trying it out. And it's now race ready to go winning. Well, that's what they think. Of course, he's up against this tremendous opposition. Bernie Marin is leaving Ford at the end of the year. He's going to Volkswagen. He's already taken them through to a South African production car win with Neil Brink in the 
Ford Lays in the production motorcars, and he'd love to finish this year with his uh, with this season with Ford with a win in this motorcar. But the man stopping him is Willie Hepburn, and that big save at Opel is up in the front there, and he's not going to let him pass easy. You can see the tyres are starting to smoke. They are so hot on that road. And Tony Viana is giving his all. Don't discount that man, Viana, lying in third position at the moment. There was parts of uh, the Winfield BMW went to missing as Duxley came through. The smoke coming up, that could just be a uh, uh, rocker a chamber leaking oil there. It happened yesterday afternoon in practice and Duxley is mobile. There's a big cooling tube going to get cool air into that engine. The exhaust pipe's out the side. That's where the flames come from, just behind the front wheel. He's looking for a place to pass with just those two laps to go. And Willie Hepburn can make that wide car very, very wide. He's going to be a new save at Opel next year, maybe with a turbocharged engine, maybe with another big V8. It's going to have a new chassis from Delta Motor Corporation. The Opel chassis, the same as they get in the Opel Records with all the hang-on bits, these big performance bits. Uh, it's handling this tremendous horsepower, 640 horses. It's Grand Prix horsepower too for Tony Viana's car and for Ben Morgan, Ruth Autoford Mazda. As I say, going off to America. Ivor Ross is leading Class B. Johan Kutsi comes next. Dick Sorensen, there's nothing between those three. And Gary Dunkley's in the picture as well in the Save at Four. So they're very, very close indeed. We're down to a lap and a half. There's a smoking Opal stopping in uh, Graham Duxbury from winning. He's got him as he comes out of West Bank. They're neck and neck and there's a small car on the way. And Willie Hepburn's not going to let him get away. Willie Hepburn is going to fight this to the finish. That is for sure as they come up on those slow cars. Get out of the way, he says. And that Simon Frobler has never been passed so quickly. He's got these three giants of West Bank Racing coming through the outside. He looked in his mirrors. He saw red, white, and blue motor cars. He thought, get out of my way. Where can I get to on this Conti call as they come down the hill? We've got a lap and a half to go. Two corners and a lap to go. And Willie Hepburn smoking. He's smoking those tires on the road. The big red lights are on there. Bam Duxley puts those ventilated discs on as hard as he can. The aerodynamics are gone on the front. That Ford is battered. Sassel are going to be thrilled about this. But Duxby's not bowed at the moment. It's the last lap and Hepburn doesn't give up. Nor does Viana. And nor do for that matter does Ben Morgan Root. The other cars there, Ivor Rosh is just ahead of you. could see, pretty we're not seeing this. But with this race on in the front here, uh, we just can't get back to that B-class dice that is going on at the moment. For second and third, smoking it out. And Viana's looking for a place to pass. It's Duxby in the front. There's another few chances coming as they go up the West Bank Hill. Those tyres are red hot. They were 148 degrees. Temperature cent centigrade yesterday on this road. That was something like 50 degrees uh, on the top. And Duxby goes through. in the front. And Vion is making a move. This freestater from Valcom is making a move. Hepburn is going to fight that to the finish. He's finished races before now with that differential on that Opal glowing white hot. And he's prepared to push that motor car as hard as it'll go right to the end. It's the end of the season. There's a new car coming up shortly. He's got nothing to lose. There's all Vion is working that car through Conti there. He's got it sideways. Look at it. How can they drive motor cars at that speed? Those heavy saloons, like something like 1,300 kilograms. The Grand Prix car is 500. These are nearly three times the weight of a Grand Prix car with that sort of horsepower. And it's going to be Duxbury. There's going to be thrills in that camp this afternoon. They're going to celebrate long into the night if they win this one, as it looks like they're going to do. But it's a pity that anybody had to come second and third in this race, but you can't take it away from Graham Duxbury. What a win for this man. From having a prank, he got back on the road. Be honest, still trying to come to the line. Graham Duxbury in the Sassile. Ford Saffa wins it. He'll be thrilled out of his mind with that. Will he hit burn in the save at Caltex? Opel is in second position. And third was the Winfield BMW of, uh, of Tony Viana from the Free State. And then Class B, Ivor Raj taking it from. He's in the Hyperspace Mazda. Johan could see in the Sabat, in the Gearmax Skyline. Then it was Sorensen in the uh, Sabat Skyline. In Class C, it was Dave Repsol won it. Class D was number 58, and that was Simon Frodler. And Class E was number 82, and that's Sean van der Linde in the Order Cup Golf. That's the racing in the West Bank Modified Saloons. A great win to end the season by Graham Duxbury.